be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Be making basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're going back to back to bangers. Today's video is going to be for beginners. Um, I had somebody, uh, one of my subscribers ask, hey, how do you drag and drop samples from Splice into Logic Pro? Okay, so this is going to be our 2024 um, video of this, okay? So let's just jump in. So first thing you're going to need to do is create a MIDI track, okay? So you want to select MIDI, and then from there you're going to want to go under Instrument and then go to the Quick Sampler, Okay. You can put it in some of these other samplers, like the multi sampler, the ultra beat, and different things like that. But for this video, to keep it simple, we're gonna go with the quick sampler. We'll go stereo. All right. Once you have this open, it's simple as this. This little blue area is where you're gonna drag and drop your samples and files into. Now, that might seem simple, but sometimes when you're using splice, it could be like. A little bit confusing so we'll break down some things in splice so this is the latest version of splice um, once you sign up you'll get monthly credits cool thing about splice is the credits will continue to add up so like meaning the credits won't disappear as you can see I have a bunch of credits on here I've been on splice for like a couple of years at this point but um, once you get your credits and everything set up you can basically come in here and search for whatever you're looking for. So say, I usually like to start with like genre. So we can come over here and be like, all right, let's just, to keep it simple, we could do hip hop. All right, now once you pull this up, you're gonna notice these different um, options here, okay? This option right here is really gonna be for um, either where you can search, so you can go over here and type in melody, And then it's going to pull up all the melodies right here. And then they have other different options too. So you can also search by key, okay, BPM, one shot, or loops. Especially for like a melody, you, you want to select loop. And then they got rare finds over here, instrument, genres, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But for the most part, you just come over here and let's just go ahead and click on eight. And we'll just start going through these and you can audition the sounds by just going right over here when you see the blue um, play button you can audition sounds this way So this is a pretty dope sample. It does have a little bit too much air to my liking, but let's say if we want to use this sample, what we'll do is just actually go right to the right of the sample and you'll see this plus sign. You'll see also that when you hover over it, it, ha it says one credit. So that's, that credit's gonna be deducted from your overall credits. So we click on that. Once it goes there and you see that plus sign, um, now this sample is a, is able to be dragged and dropped anywhere on your computer. You can put it on your desktop, you can put it anywhere. But what I like to do is just open up Splice and then have this quick sampler already ready to go. And you can just take this and now drag it and drop it right in here on either, either of these options. If you drag it over here to the left, it's going to go in original and it's going to have your original tuning, loudness, looping, and length. If you put it in an optimize, it's going to optimize any, uh, uh, it's going to optimize the tuning and the loudness and search for loop points and crop out silence. Okay, so this might be a good tool to optimizing for like more so drums and original will probably be better for just like loops. So say, since we're doing like a melody, we're going to put it in original. All right, and now the sample is in Logic Pro. I just push Command K to bring up the musical typing, and now I can play this. You can also click this follow tempo button, and it should um, sync match it with your BPM. And 
I know if you're a beginner, brand new, you're going to be asking, hey, how can I save this? If you go to the very top of the quick sampler where you see user default, you can go scroll down and go save as and just give it an arbitrary name. I'm going to say old film string. And now if I want to bring this back up, you can go to load or your samples will all pop down here. As you see, old film string is right there. So this is an exhaustive video, I feel like, on a pretty simple thing to do. But if you're a beginner, it can be, you know, dank, uh, daunting. Um, one thing to keep in mind is that with Splice, if you don't have like a credit and you haven't like actually added it to your library, you won't be able to take this and move it over. So you're going to be running into this all day long. You're going to be frustrated because you haven't actually added it. So when you're going through here, you can see by seeing a plus, uh, not a plus sign, but a check mark, what's been added or not. Also, if you go under um, library and sounds, it will also label all, I mean, bring all of the sounds that you've downloaded. And I've downloaded a lot over the years or the time that I had splice. And so I know for sure these are all ready to go. These are all good. I can drag and drop these at any point in time. This is also a good little section um, just to be able to, you know, gain access back to the stuff that you've downloaded. So I know sometimes like when you cook up, you'll have some sounds and you use them in one session and then you go to another session. And you're like, dang, where was that snare? That snare was perfect. This is the better way to find it because you can go to your library in Splice and then search it there because you can put in, you know, snare, da 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 da, find it easily. Anyway, y'all, thanks for watching. I made sure to add some extra goodies in this video, even though it's a pretty much basic video, even for beginners or whatever. Uh, make sure that you go ahead and head over to my website, bemakingbasics.com. We do have um, full video courses where I'm going, you know deep on topics like music production, how to build your own melodies, how to build your own drums, uh, drum patterns, um, some music theory things, how to make beats in Logic Pro 10, Logic Pro 10.8, Logic Pro 10.5, Logic, you know, all the different logics basically, how to make beats in GarageBand. There's just a lot of different stuff on the site that you can download and it will be a focused format, meaning that you don't have to go from video to video getting this from there from there from there over everywhere it's all in a curriculum so check that out um we also have sound packs we also have um mixing templates check those out if you're brand new if you haven't checked it out before or if you've been following me for a while and you just haven't had a chance to actually invest and check out in the courses they're real good information um solid courses i've been doing this for a while so i've come up with a way to explain things in a simple and easy to follow and understand uh, format. So that's the, that's the benefit of using the, the uh, site. You can also um, sign up to the channel perks. It's only $3 a month and you can get extra videos. You know, it might be a sign of cook up, it might be a secret tutorial or whatever. Check that out as well. You'll get bonus videos. And if you don't do anything else, make sure that you go ahead and subscribe to the channel, like the video, share it, with your people and all that good stuff and uh, leave a comment if you like the video like the content like what i'm doing here or you want to learn something or anything like that so appreciate y'all and i will see you in the next video we're out